Hi guys! Happy Saturday! Nice to see you! Ah! Yeah, I think we'll just go ahead and um, stop because I never really know how I'm going to fit this. And uh, better to have an extra minute or two just in case. So we'll go ahead and just start. Um, we're going to start in a deep stretch. All right, so it's going to be a dragon. You're going to have your right foot forward. Your left leg slides, you know, further back. You can release your toes. You can keep your toes tucked. It's just an option. I would say just kind of walk your hands forward, maybe drop your head and just kind of sink into this thing. All right, this needs to be pretty backed off stuff, right? It's the very beginning of the day. You're at home. Chances are high your room is not warmed up. So the body's pretty resistant. So we just kind of work with it, right? As long as you're feeling this, and this is a stretch in the left thigh, the top of the thigh, the quad is where you feel it the most. But beyond that, it's gonna be up high in that psoas, which is pretty tight for us, most of us anyway. And just allow time to kind of take over and create the stretch for you. And definitely, oh, let your head just kind of dangle free. Right, let the back of the neck open up and just start to focus, right? You guys made the right decision, right? Showing up for yourself, it's not something you wanna do, right? I've battled with this for years, and, you know, and especially being at home, right? It's, it's not high up on the list of things, right? That you would like to do Saturday morning. So you showed up for yourself and I promise whatever happens from here on out, you know, you're going to walk off your mat feeling amazing. Despite the fact that maybe you skip a lot of stuff today. You know, maybe you skip over your vinyasa. Maybe you only do 20 minutes with me. And that's fine, you guys. It's all good. Whatever time you spend on you is time well spent. Good. Just kind of staying here. Last couple breaths. We're just settling in. All right. Finding our focus. And then listen, just switch sides. You know, back to your hands and knees is fine. Step your left foot forward. Slide your back leg, right leg further back. Walk your hands, fingers a little out in front of you. And just kind of drop the head. Sink your belly. And allow your back leg, your back thigh, to fall down towards the ground. And as we're feeling this, you know, see if you can start to narrow your attention and just kind of down to your breathing. Narrow your breath down to your nose. And we'll say, if possible, I'd like you to suck in massive inhales in through your nostrils, right? Fill up your lungs like balloons. As you exhale, draw your belly in to press the air all the way back out. And then refine it, massive inhale, right? Fill it up, ribs pop out, right? Massive exhale, right? You're pressing the air back out through the nose. And I want you to keep that going. I want you to smooth it, right? I want you to make it incredibly free. And it's the kind of breath that forces your hand to be in your body and feel all that there is to feel. So in a natural fact, you just breathing this way, this massive, fluid, controlled breath, you're starting to create your yoga practice, right? And then it's that beautiful quality of just peacefulness, of quietness on the inside that's going to trickle out into your poses, your physicality, right? And whether you're breathing with me and pushing hard or you're just laying down on the mat doing the same breath, it really is you doing your practice beautifully. Right, still in this stretch. Oh, I know. Take one last breath in. Stay as you exhale. Good. Nice and easy. Take your time. Hands and knees. Just hands and knees. Oh, good. Hands and knees. Palms are planted. Fingers wide. Belly hammocks. Drop that belly. Stretch it. Pop the chest forward. Roll the shoulders back and down. And then dome it. Tuck your chin to your chest, flare your upper back, the space between your shoulder blades. Do it again. Inhale, belly hammocks, little back bend, open wide. Exhale, dome it, exaggerate, really press through it. Couple more. Inhale, belly hammocks. 
Good, open wide. Exhale, dome it. Squeeze the fingers as you dome. Last one, inhale, belly hammocks. Really feel it. Exhale, dome it. Keep your dome, right? Belly's tucked up and in. Tuck your toes. Lift the hips, come on up, down dog. And just kind of check in this thing oh, out. Try to go in there and just kind of make this first down dog work for you, right? If you gotta bend your knees a lot, do it. If you gotta move around in it, working out some of the kinks, the tightness, do it, right? You can do just about anything that makes sense in your practice. You know, so long as you're doing it with awareness, with consciousness or intention, I think run with it. Right? I step outside of, you know, the rigidity of alignment all the time in my practice. Right? And in tricky guys, not all alignment is good for people. Right? Only you know is, you know, what's right for you, your bones, your ligaments, your joints, your mood. And so I'll remind you that even though I'm kind of rolling you guys through a practice, that really, you know, the onus is on you to make it your own, to serve your body. And yeah, sometimes serving your body is pushing hard. It's staying in something uncomfortable longer than you want to. And other times it's taking breaks, it's skipping stuff. You know, we work on being really okay with whatever that is today here on the mat. Good, palms are squeezing. Fingers are digging in, drawing that belly up and in. Listen, up, up, push up, plank pose. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Oh, press through your chest muscles, right? Zip up through that belly. There's almost a little bit of a tuck of your tailbone, right? That's so you can draw that low belly up and in. And then thighs are zipped up, quads, think muscle to bone. Give it one massive calm breath in. As you exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the ground. Good, releasing your toes once you get there. Take your hands to your lower back and to lace your fingers. Add a towel, add a strap, add something between your hands if you need it. You're gonna lift the head, the chest up out of the ground. And I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Almost like this heat in your upper back kind of pushes your heart, the skin across your chest, really far forward, right? The gaze is down, we want the neck really long. If you need more, you don't have to do this, but you could. You lift your legs, your toes, same height as the shoulders. We're gonna do this pose quite a bit today. So the first one is pretty crusty, it's pretty tight, right? Glute muscles, strong hamstrings, tippy toes. Lift it, breathe into it. Exhale, release it, just a little. Whew, first of everything, you know, it kind of hurts the most, right? We're working through that crust, right? We're trying to gather that focus. That's real difficult first thing in the morning. Listen, hands underneath your shoulders, just child's pose. Sit your butt all the way back on your heels. Rest your forehead down, arms wherever. Shut your eyes and just breathe. As a good reminder, you know, you might need this pose today, right? I might push you through some stuff that you don't need. That is always possible, right? So if you get overwhelmed, right? If you start to get angry, if you start to want to flip me off, these are all good indications to take a break, right? I'm gonna back off before I get angry, right? So have this pose in your back pocket and don't feel bad about taking it. Some days you feel unstoppable, right? You're hitting handstands, you're doing extra push-ups, right? Other times you have just got to add sweetness, right? Or you're gonna make this thing miserable. So just kind of, you know, at the beginning of what feels like, you know, a mountain, just remind yourself it's not really about the physicality, right? I know you guys definitely like to push hard, you're used to it. Right? But work with your body, right? Work with your mood and maybe make some of this feel amazing. Maybe not all of it, but a good portion, right? That way you don't mind being in your practice. So we're looking for that nice, strong balance, right? Feel something, yes. You 
know, don't waste your time on your mat, but don't blow it out. Don't make it all or nothing. Find a balance to it. Now you can stay and just breathe, right? So all the same thing. We're gonna come up to hands and knees. Hands and knees, tuck your toes, lift the hips, downward facing. Stretching your butt high. Relax your head low. Give me a massive breath in. Lift up, press back, look forward. Exhale, step, jump, float, top of the mat. Fingers lower, hands to shins, come halfway up, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Little softness in the knees, strong belly, flat back, sweep your arms high to the sky. Hands center Anjali. Sweep your arms up, lift up, huge inhale. Exhale, beautifully dive back down. Hands low, halfway up, flat back. Plant your palms, step back. Up, up, push up, lower down, strong. Cobra, lift that chest, breathe in. Down dog, maybe use your knees. Lift your butt high, drop your head low. Just working out the kinks. Gathering that focus, up on the toes, bend the knees, look forward, breathe in. Exhale, step, jump, float, top of the mat. Halfway up, breathe in. Forward fold. Arms to the sky, inhale. Center, exhale. That's how you do it. Sweep your arms up. Lift up, breathe in. Exhale, dive. Inhale, flat back. Plant your palms. Step back, up, up, push up. Lower, full exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Hips high, head low. Breathe, breathe. not too soon you guys adding stuff in stuff that just feels right to you making it a beautiful dance lift up breathe in step jump float inhale lengthen forward fold use the belly inhale sweep your arms high center exhale arms up lift up breathe in Exhale, dive. Inhale, flat back. Plant your palms, step, jump, float. Cobras, up dogs, breathe in. Downward facing. And it feels like, okay, that those are done. Just kind of see what happens as we add some stuff in. Lift up, press back, breathe in. Look forward, step, jump, top of the mat. Fingers low, halfway up, breathe in. Forward fold. With your feet together, bend your knees up to 90. Belly strong, sweep your arms to the sky chair pose. All right, weight in the heels. Crown of the head lifts up. Give me one breath in. Stand up, hands center. Go back to a chair pose. One, inhale, sink and reach. Dive out. Inhale, flat back. Plant your palms. Step it, jump it, float it. Cobra is up, dogs breathe in. Downward facing. Slide your feet together. Take your right leg up towards the sky. Activate your shoulders. Dig your fingers in. Breathe in. Step right foot forward between your hands. Back foot. Spin it flat 45 degrees. Draw your heart forward. Warrior one. Sweep your arms wide. Good. Seek it low. 
up that back leg, right? That's the anchor of the pose. Take your hands to your lower back and lace your fingers. Oh, hop forward, chest forward. And then angle that chest up towards the sky. If you needed, you could stay right here every time. Otherwise, a lot of you are used to it. Give me one breath in. Humble warrior. Dive down on the inside of your right leg. Ooh, it's not fun. Just necessary. Relax that head, relax that neck. Squeeze that back foot. Good, breathe, please breathe. Don't change your legs. Don't freak out. Inhale, warrior one. Sweep it high. Warrior two, open wide. Open that back foot up to 90 degrees. Good, sink in. Soften that gaze. A little fire in your right leg. Keep it. Right palm up. Reverse it. Right fingers high. Listen, give me one huge breath in. Now wiggle your hands down to the mat. Listen, back this spins on toes. Up, up, push up, hold, 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 hold. Belly, chest, thighs. Down dog, lift your hips. Feet together. Left leg, lift it. Up through your toes. Strong with your shoulders. Breathe in. Step it through. Spin your back foot flat 45 degrees. Hop forward, chest forward. Warrior one, sleep at high. Get a sink at low. Take your hands to your lower back and lace your fingers. Best possible. You could have a towel, you could have a strap, you could be faking it. Belly's in, pop that chest. Good, start to lift that chest, your sternum, up, up, up. You can stay, give me one breath in. Humble warrior, dive all the way down on the inside. Good, back foot, squeeze it. Belly, lift it. Relax that head and breathe. change your legs. Don't freak out. Inhale, warrior one. Sweep it high. Warrior two, open it wide. Back foot 90. Settle in. Sink, sink, sink. Good. Don't change your legs. Left palm up. Reverse it. Left fingers up. Give me one breath in. Now listen, hands down, back foot spins, up, up, push up. Just hold, 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 up, or push up. Don't go anywhere. Chest, belly, fingers, thighs. Down dog. Ooh. Listen, set your knees down, child's pose. Set it down. Have your arms out in front of you, breathe. child's pose. Of course you can. Otherwise, imagine sliding under a fence. Do it onto your belly. Make it fancy. Arms up like wings. Lift the legs. Locust pose. Squeeze backside. Lift it. Release it. Hands under shoulders. Cobras up. Dogs downward facing. Ooh. Do it again, right leg lifted. Step it through. Warrior one, inhale. Interlace your hands. Chest up, breathe in. Dive down, it's quicker. Drop that head, squeeze that back foot, three. Chance to breathe, two. One, sweep it high, inhale. 
Warrior two, exhale is thick. Reverse it, breathe in. Now listen, when we are hands down, dog split, shoot. Right leg high. Open, bend it, stay, or flip it. If you're flipping it, take your time. It's a little back bend, it's a side bend. Now listen. Up, up, push up, hold the pose. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it and breathe. Down dog, hips go high. It's gonna work. Left leg lifted. Step it through, back foot flat. Warrior one, inhale. Interlace your hands. Chest up, breathe in. Dive down, drop that head. Head up, 
chest up, all of it up, breathe in. Exhale, release it. Cobras, up dogs, down dog. Flat back, breathe in. Forward fold, use that belly. Chair pose. Inhale. Stand up, exhale. Chair pose, sink and reach. Dive out. Flat back. Step it, jump it, float it. Cobra, open wide. Dog. With me, inhale, right leg lift. Step it. Warrior one, breathe in. Interlace, chest up, gaze up, dive down. Relax your neck and breathe. Muscle it, warrior one, breathe in. Warrior two, full exhale. Dog sweat, right leg, get it up. Open it and flip it. One motion. Exaggerate it. Up a push up, hold, hold, hold. Hold and breathe. Down dog. Left leg lift. Step it. Warrior one. Rush it, chest up, inhale, dive down. Maybe shut your eyes, be here, right here. From your legs, warrior one, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse it. Dog split. Left leg, get it up, open bend it, option, flip it. Stretch it open. Up a push up. You're gonna hold. Hold it. Belly thighs, chest, fingers. Down dog. Knees down, child's pose. How much you breathe. It is how you do it, it is not what you do. Make beauty out of it. Under the fence, go. Right leg, just do it, lift it. Step it. Warrior one, rise. Interlace. Chest up, gaze up. Dive down, drop that head, breathe. Suck in, oxygen. Keep the legs, warrior one, muscle high. Warrior two, wide. Reverse. Breathe in, dog swim, right leg up, boss chance, in a minute, for it. Full expression of it. Up a push up, you hold, you hold, you hold, calmly. Shoulders, fingers, belly, thighs, down dog, left leg, Place your hands, chest up, gaze up, dive down. Down dog. 
knees down, child's pose for you. Reach 
back out. Spinal balance, breathe in. Hands and knees. Belly hammocks, exaggerate those belly hammocks. Pop that chest, breathe in. Dome your spine, should feel good. Exhale. Inhale, belly hammocks. Exhale, dome it. Last one, inhale, pop that chest. Exhale, dome, tuck your toes, lift the hips, down dog. I don't have you guys a lot left, but we are going to take our time with it. Slide your feet together. Right leg, lift it, toes go high. Big step forward, don't come up. Spin your back foot flat, 90 degrees, side angle, right hand down on the inside. Take your left hand high, open wide. All right, this is too intrusive. Then you've got that right elbow up on that thigh. That's a great modification. But since we did a lot of prep, this might be approachable. Open up that left chest. Open your left hand, your left fingers. Draw your belly in and squeeze that back It's a lot of strength and it's a lot of freedom gazing up, maybe. Good, breathe. Let that hip fire up. You can take it. Relax your mind. Four, three, two, and one. Now listen, look down. Look a little in front of that right foot. Up, half moon. So up on that right foot. Right fingers stay low. Lift yourself out of the ground. Half moon, Adi Shandrasana. Okay, Shapasana is a great option. You can bend that left knee. Left hand reaches back. Grab a hold of the foot. Any variation. Take your time. Square 
it off, drop that head. Drive your right leg high. Make a good decision. Do you need it? Handstand option, plant your palms. All right, take your time with it. Don't let me rush you. Setting up something strong. Five, four, three, two, breathe in, vinyasa. Inhale, cobra.
Take a look at your toes, unplug your hands, walk all the way back, back of your mat. Soften the knees here, drop your head down, your chest down. Take your hands to your lower back one more time. Stretch out the chest and shoulders. Open your feet wide. 
Turn the toes out. Go slow. The lapsana is so slow, slow, slow. Oh, once you get that, it's an amazing stretch on your lower back. Hang out, maybe rock a little side to side. time take your time step back into a down dog good drop in your head Ooh, it's your last down dog see if you can lengthen the spine squeeze through your fingers stretch through your hamstrings and then set your knees down your ankles, sit your butt through, just lay down on your back. Oh, we don't get as long as I would like. So planting your feet, take your right ankle, cross it over the top of that left thigh, let the knee flare open. If this is enough, you're going to stay. And if you need more, you reach through your legs with your right hand and then clasp your fingers.
back in, go both your knees, grab a hold of your shins, curl head and shoulders up, squeeze yourself as you inhale, let it go as you exhale, let it go out wide and flat in any comfortable position. You're gonna shut your eyes. Release in your breath. Allow yourself to fully surrender, if only for a few minutes. Shop awesome. So with that, you guys, that's almost 60 minutes. So if you wanna lay down a whole lot longer, don't let me rush you in any way. You know, stay and just take a much longer Shavasana. That might feel amazing. Thanks for joining me. It's always nice to see you guys. I hope you feel a little light, a little free and take it with you. And I will see you guys next time. Namaste.